out. I have a young entrepreneur with me. She's sitting right next to me. Gifting Yamiche, good morning to you and welcome to the show. And also Malina Kokoti is a public relations officer. Malina, good morning to you and welcome. So we're, and here we're talking about cheating. A lot of things, you know, come to play. Sometimes some say, well, it's because maybe I'm not pretty enough. The girl is more pretty than me. Or maybe she cooks. Or maybe maybe she's even good in bed. That's that's what people say. I don't know. My guests are here. Uh, young, beautiful, and talented. Good to have Malina, Melina, and Gifty Yamita. Gifty, good morning to both of you. Hi, good good morning. Let me just pick your general thoughts on cheating general thoughts on it Marina actually I'd say it's um, it's not good it's devastating for the lady or whoever it's is the victim here it's very sad and it's it's unforgettable sometimes so but uh, generally are you gifty in general I think cheating is the basis of all breakups what else it's it just breaks every woman down is it cheating no or matter the excuse okay is it cheating or because sometimes people are just not able to express themselves romantically why would you cheat in the first place if i'm not the right person for you just tell me move to the next lady and i'll be cool with it i will be okay with it okay. i don't mind okay all right so now that you have given me your general impression let's get to the specifics about you know um if you're dating somebody and you found out that they had cheated on you the guy comes to you and say, I am sorry, I cheated. Yes, I did. I may have strayed, but I am sorry and I want us to continue. What would be your reaction? Well, first of all, I'll just talk to him. I'll do a little so discussion with him. I'll find out what made him cheat and if it's something we can work out or if it's something... I don't know. If you ask me, he says, I don't know why I cheated. I just, I was just vulnerable. I had uh, too much drinks and she was there. She was playing with me and I decided to, I don't know. Okay. Why would you, would you listen if to it's, that? If it's sincere and I really do love him, of course, because even the Bible said that if you go and meet your wife <laughs> or your husband on top of another woman and you truly love him or her, you will forgive the person. I'm not good with the Bible, so I can't quote, so <laughs> thank you. But thank you very much for that. How about you in a relationship and you find out, I mean, you've already expressed your general uh, present, uh, what it called, submission. You said that, why would you cheat? So are you the type who would say, it's a no, no, no. You've cheated, you're out the door. Before we begin, we set the rules. We know I'm with you and you're with me. So there's no excuse for you cheating. If we set the rules, we are getting serious. We are getting serious. Because okay. we have a goal. We know where we are going to. Mm. If we don't have any rules from the beginning, and we know we are not serious with each other, I can't blame you, and I can't blame myself if you go astray. Okay. Because so we are human. I could also go astray. Okay. I like you. You said two things. When we get together, we're serious, and we set the rules. So are there exceptions then that are the relationships that you are just you know you're hanging you know they call a fling here and there you 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 allow yourself that's one it doesn't matter those things do happen in life they do happen it's how you trust in yourself how you see yourself your moral beliefs they mold us up and they tune us into the way we want to live our lives so if i want to be upright i have to be upright if i want to have flings i can have flings yes but my my my, my question has to do with when you choose to date somebody without necessarily i mean i think that a lot of women get into relation hoping that it will end up in marriage correct yes yes it is because of the way we were brought up yes. but my mm -hmm. question has to do with you're getting into a relationship yes, you're dating you hope that it will happen but if it doesn't happen how do you know it's serious how do you know it's not serious it can be serious. I'll, I'll come to you. I want her to answer. I'll come to you. Don't worry. I'll come to you. We have no idea. You have no idea. So relationships As are very women, complicated. We have no idea. Because okay. women, we are very complicated. Mm -hmm. we, we mistakenly put our eggs in one basket. Okay. Mistakenly. Most of the times. 80% of the time. Okay. That is our mistake. All right. But it's not... I wouldn't blame the guy. I wouldn't blame the woman. It's a human, it's a human fault. Human it's, fact, it's just okay. our default. All right. There's nothing we can do about it. Don't you agree? Okay. Oh, and yeah. you, when so you are talking, you, you're a bit more liberal. Because when you're talking, you talk about if you love the person. So yes. 
you you're saying that the way you feel about, about a person Post. can dictate how how do you know how do you measure that is it the way he treats you or the way you feel about him it depends on um how long you guys have been together what you've been through and how far you've come so if um we've been together for like okay let's say we are married or maybe we are dating and been together for like three years you've never cheated on me and something like this comes up okay i'll listen to you i understand why and if it's if it's sincere i'll forgive you but if i realize that for the past three years we've been dating you've been constantly cheating i'll just advise myself because i cannot be in a relationship where constantly i'll be let down i'll go back and forth and it won't it won't it won't end up in marriage i don't know okay so is, is it easier than if you're in a boyfriend girlfriend relationship kind of than say if you're married and committed and you stood in front of everybody and promising that uh for better so or for worse is it easier to just walk away from somebody who is cheated because he's your boyfriend or maybe fiance okay um, um um i have a very very religious backing on this one okay when it's marriage when you're married it is for better or for worse if the guy constantly or if your husband constantly cheats you just go on your knees and pray and i don't know how it will sound to you sure, but no, prayer I'm, do I'm, works I'm, I'm liberal you have no idea prayer do works <laughs> but if you're in a boyfriend girlfriend situation um it depends if you've as i said earlier on if you've dated for three years you you've been through a lot and nothing of this sort has happened to so us human to forgive is divine. divine so i believe that you there's everybody deserves a second a second chance to work on things so okay how yes. about you so i haven't heard your views on marriage uh for better or for worse till death do us part you're married you love this man you've gone through all the don't know and then you find out that he has some nice skinny like yourself nice skinny girl <laughs> like you you know somewhere that he's been you know having his way with marriage is sacred oh so it, so the, your your submission earlier was for boyfriend girlfriend, girlfriend. marriage is sacred okay to me it's it's my rule and my principle in life to get married to one man stay with him no matter what that's why it's for better and for worse no matter the situation well i look up to my parents because okay. it's been almost 20 years and it's n it's not always rosy and you know daddy has been bad daddy, <laughs> I, can't, I can't point my hand to daddy and say daddy has sure, been sure, bad sure, but sure, daddy sure. is not perfect uh, i'm just and mommy is not perfect. I'm just messing with you but mm -hmm. they work things out and we see everything that goes on in the house and i look up to my mom i'm like she's she's strong i look up to my dad and he's strong they are holding it together and nothing is breaking them apart so why would i allow someone from somewhere infiltrate my marriage and break it up a relationship is oh, a so relationship. okay so in other words from that point you just made in other words if you even found out that your husband mm -hmm. is seeing somebody else you're going to ignore that pretend that it doesn't exist just keep a blind eye no is that it no i will sit my husband down he's my husband he's my best friend he's the person i'm supposed to be talking to sharing everything with i sit him down and we talk about it because if he finds me at fault i expect him to talk to me and mold me the way he wants me to be because i want him to be faithful to me i'm to do what he wants so i make him do what i want so we sit down and we talk submissive to their men. Uh, same, same for you. Same for you. If you found out that your your husband has a thing on the side, you would just you know come home and do your wife duties, like you said, submit to him and just cook for him, give, do his favorite dinner. You buy me a rose. Uh, what is it called? That? Uh, let me cater to your needs. You just do that and say, oh, whatever. That girl, she's not that wife. She's just you know side chick. <laughs> It's, it's it's difficult for women sharing is not caring at all for women sharing is is it makes you feel devalued it makes you f it makes you feel like mm -hmm. you you are worthless so i wouldn't say that you cry you tear up but you talk to your husband if it's something you guys can work around with if maybe something i'm doing now maybe when you go married to me i was looking at fly i dress i cook nice or i look i'm always looking but, nice but sometimes a man doesn't need a reason to cheat a yes. man cheats because he can cheat 
because he can get away with it. It's just no. simple. That's just it. Well, <laughs> no, I believe that um, when something like this happens, you talk. I believe in communication a lot. So when you talk to your spouse, you know what is wrong, what is going on. Even something I can work with. If maybe I don't look nice or I don't, I'm becoming too big, too fat or too slim or I'm straying away with whatever it is or I'm not giving you sex like we used to or something like that, we can work around. With. Okay, then I'll know how to go about things now. I realize that there's something about me that you don't like. Okay, you want to have sex. I don't want to have sex. I have to compromise at times so we can okay. do that all right and um, well, I don't know about Ghanaian celebrities who you know who had partners and cheated but I have tons of examples abroad where you know you have somebody like Tiger Woods beautiful wife model beautiful stunning what they call mm -hmm. perfect blonde hair cheated on her with some nice young looking girl uh, they're both young yes and then you have who else is it Kobe Bryant Kobe Bryant did some sexual you know escapades uh, and then who else I mean you have uh, Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. Monica, Monica Lewinsky's case, all right? They have beautiful women. I so it's not just a question of putting on weights or what you were doing, you can't, you didn't do. How, so how do you justify that, that, or even Beyonce, there are rumors, you know, well, they, we, we don't have this. Yeah. Or even Katy Perry and Russell Brand, they had to call it quit because he cheated. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez, because he cheated with even a prostitute. I guess so. It. So uh, what excuse then? Bridget, I get it. I'm trying to establish one fact, one side of it. She's all but she says, I whisper something in my ears that you can't eat mangoes every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, but well, well, it's, it's, it's just one I mean, side. If I such beautiful women with such men who cheat on them, okay, that's th what I said is just one side. There's another side, yeah. Okay, you can't justify cheating. And if you, if you, the woman feels <laughs> that you are everything, everything is working out, you are doing what you can, you are trying your best, and he's still cheating, you go on your knees and pray, Bridget, because you can't stop him, you can't chain him, you can't do anything to him, you just have to leave him in the hands of God. Okay. One of the things that people hold is that women, we facilitate the cheating. Mm -hmm. We facilitate the cheating in this sense that both of you agree that if you're married and your husband's cheated, you will stick by them. Okay. Because the Bible says that, oh, you took a commitment, that said for better or for worse. Oh, Isn't that helping men to cheat? Because if a man, so. if you cheat, if a woman cheats, the man leaves her. Because no man, man, is, man is jealous. Hey, you can't sleep with my wife. I'm not staying with her. That is the African <laughs> belief. That is the African way. How? That is what we, we've put into our minds. That's our mentality. Okay. We've, we've lived with it. Because the man is able to, like your producer said, we don't eat mangoes every day. The man has decided to eat a mango, taking it for life vouch to eat the mango but me too i mean and i like mangoes apple. and i apples. like i like apples i like watermelons <laughs> i like pineapples i decide to stay with the mango why can't you stay with the mango let's both stay with mangoes it's that easy you mean when the mango is ripe over if it's ripe? rotten we eat it together it's as easy it's, as it's, that. it's not that easy when you are cutting the cake my mm. counselor said to me that if you are cutting the cake it comes with everything it comes with the bitterness the sweetness the sadness everything is it's not just it's not just happily ever after mm. it's, it's not all rosy as and, it and is. some say that you know marriage is of uh, not something if it's a fact marriage is the only institution that you get this okay before you start practicing <laughs> so but then uh, the the other serious point is do you then think that we should probably be looking at uh Multi multiple you know partners they should make it more illegal so you, you, you don't just marry one i've told the ratio is i'm not sure please correct i think it's one is to six or one is to seven i mean <laughs> so oh, one okay. man you have six or seven women uh per our ratio right because oh. no, if, if that's is if, if, if that's true then it means that you have one man with more women if the guy wants to cheat he has five women you will still go and get the sixth wife it doesn't really matter and it depends on your religious background if you're a muslim you can but if you're a christian you have to stick with one woman okay. and if there's problem you solve it as mind you it's not all the men that cheat women also cheat on their husbands as well oh i'm told that women women we don't cheat we are only the only time we cheat is when we are caught and we're good at hiding it i mean yes oh no women we don't cheat i mean seriously we don't cheat the only time we cheat is when we are caught men cheat is a fact everybody knows that men cheat not all men cheat uh, 89 99.7 percent cheats 0.3 percent don't cheat <laughs> no 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 seriously no so so what do we do what would you i mean what what, what do we, what do we do then 
do we just raise our hands and say that this is just a helpless discussion is a helpless situation and we can't get over it how can we reduce the sort of cheating that we are experiencing given the times that we're living in i i think that everything as i said i believe in communication a lot i think that when you sit down have a soul to soul conversation with each other find out the reasons why he did that if it's workable you work it out if your boyfriend and a girlfriend and something like this happens i believe that you have to wait six months go let the guy go and check for um his or his status hiv std <laughs> and then if he's clean you pray and work it out again and you give him I, I believe in second chances not the third but second chances when he's wrong he comes back and he's so sorry you forgive him and then you move on but if it happens all the time i think you should just Something give up you should just give up do you think ma men manipulate women's emotions when they cheat a lot hundred percent hmm. If I love you, I love you. If you cheat and you come and tell me she wasn't the one, it was a mistake, it was the work of the devil, no. oh God. <laughs> How can, there's nothing like a mistake when you cheat. Okay. You know what you were doing. You went, you did it. When you come because to you me, like. the mango, the mango sweet, you go back again. Adam, excuse me, just hang <laughs> on a bit. We'll go on social media because uh, my, my, my TL is flooded with a lot of your comments. And um, Macomb, Macomb says that don't marry or get into a serious relation with someone unless you'd be proud to have a child exactly like them. Really, <laughs> Mark, uh, Macombs. And then, Adam, why did you eat the apple? This apple makes men to cheat a lot one girl kind of guy he's one girl i'm glad to know rudy rudy says uh, money says he's one girl kind of guy thank you very much uh, for healthy marriage or courtship you need this communication and understanding thank you very much hmm um otis also says um what is Rab rabia rabia sadat says that that's why allah in his own wisdom say you can marry more than one to avoid cheating he's a muslim so thank you very much um for sending us those comments that's on twitter we'll go to uh facebook uh, as well a bit later on in, in the show are you surprised by any of the comments no i'm not actually uh, i have a point with the sure, question sure, sure. go ahead go ahead about uh, some men can cheat and make you feel like you've done something wrong, wrong. they turn around and about the make, emotional blackmail okay. yes and they make it look like you are the one you <laughs> they are the victim sure, sure. if i'll put it that way they are the victim so i believe that you shouldn't put i wouldn't say don't put your eggs in one basket you should put your eggs in one basket <laughs> if you are in a committed and serious relationship which was yeah, that yeah no no my producer oh producer. okay yeah. okay i believe that if you're in a committed relationship you should put your eggs in one basket yeah. trust each other okay. if something like that constantly happens you move but quite a, and then the other part about I, I meant about you know the facilitation of it is that men cheat also because there were women who are willing to cheat, to cheat with them. Yes. Yes. So what do you call such women? Do you call them out and say you must uh, you daughter of Jezebel? What is it just isn't it a question of training your man as well? Yeah. Because that girl who is cheating with your husband doesn't have her own. That's why she's available. Yes. Correct? It's a matter of commitment. And there's always a woman out there who is after your man. Hey, there's yes. always, that's always a big, yes, that's that's a big there's always a woman out there who is after your man. I and there's always that. a man out there who is after your woman. So the moment you cheat on your woman, don't forget she's pretty to someone. And the moment you start looking that way to that guy, there's someone looking at your man. Mm -hmm. So we have to be straight on this. It's a matter of commitment. If you decide on it, you go by your word. Mm if it's just open it's open okay is there a limit since you're accommodative i mean you're all com accommodating the fact that um if you're married it's for better or for worse Word. but this is let me use this a serial cheater <laughs> i mean you know every girl that you know he's had something to do with them right you go to church you don't know the girl he said good morning to whether he's also done it right <laughs> what would you would you just accept that that's just how my man is and we live through it or, or you you think at some point you would say you know what enough is enough i'm walking away i have way too much dignity and integrity to stay in this relationship at a point you can it depends if you've brought if you accommodated you you've um brought in third party you've arbitrated you mean like churches councils? yes okay. and and he's still doing it 
and you pray to God and you realize he's still doing it and <laughs> you have kids and <laughs> you don't want to victimize them yeah you move on you pray and move on if i you, find my you? boyfriend in that situation there's no way i'm getting married to a man like that mm. there's no way i'm getting married to a man like that he's he's not going to be faithful to me i don't want my children having traits of that in their life okay yeah there's so, no way so i'm going to give you this is like you say isn't the, the rock and the hard place what's that <laughs> expression right that um to w so would you rather be single remain single or date a man who is a, a serial cheater bridges yes you <laughs> both of you yes i would remain single happy single i would work hard fall in love with my family my work friends who are worth it live mm -hmm. life to the fullest than kill myself my self-esteem and break myself down for a man who is not worth it mm. i wouldn't commit myself into something for of you truth. if it's a one-time thing i think i'll forgive him but if it's constantly no i won't i'll just pray to god i'll be single and pray <laughs> after pray to god to bring and me i see that both one. of you aren't wearing rings and <laughs> i am told that every beautiful girl has had at least two married men come to come at them I won't deny that you know people have come yeah well, i'm not gonna lie okay all right but you have, have has any married man approached you yes. when they say what to, stories they tell you that oh well, maybe i'm not happy what did they tell you yes i'm not <laughs> happy and i want to go out and and my wife is a mistake and, and every <laughs> a lot funny enough a lot but they're, they're, they're sweet bold. but they're sweet they are, they're, they're very bold how so they come and tell you they have a wife but they will take care of you is it the money that we need because i feel a woman can take care of herself and no man can take care of a woman no man can take care of a woman no matter how little she is no matter how poor she is you can't take care of it oh, but in this, econ in, this in this economic in in this the world economy and not just ghana i mean the world economy well it's obvious that you know you our, our lifestyle is such that if you don't have a job and you don't you know you don't earn any income and someone comes he is well to do says he will take care of you it's yeah. not a question of sacrificing your dignity necessarily but being smart being street smart about your circumstances that is a mistake that's the mistake dignity so you think first. the woman should rather be dirty and have dignity and not go to school not pay her school I don't and mind. have a man my dignity comes first because if my dignity is in touch and i pray to my god he won't listen to you me. You didn't answer the question though. Has any married man come to you? Yes. What, <laughs> yes. what did he tell you? He told me he is married. Yeah. And he will take care of me. Um, do I look poor? Do I look... Oh, no, you look like so I need something. <laughs> no, no. That is what I didn't get. Yeah. I asked myself. It made me think like far. <laughs> do i need something do yeah. i do i look like i'm lacking something what can you give me and what was his long reaction? term what, was his, what did you tell him i would not reaction? insult you i would listen to you i would hear you out and everything is in here i ask myself all right then why I would you hear from this as far? well Right. Malina, you, what did you tell him? What did he tell you? What did you tell Because you look so oh, fly. <laughs> this high waist jeans is just in vogue, you know? Yes, go on. <laughs> Virgin. We um I know they come to me a lot. Yeah. Yes. They say where you have the it's body that the wife doesn't have. I love, you. I love you and um I can take care of you. Whatever you need, I'll provide for you. I'll give you everything you want. I have a super dope boyfriend I'm going to get married to. Ah. I have a husband to be. So oh, but you have a boyfriend doesn't mean you can't cheat on your boyfriend. <laughs> I can't, he's faithful to me. I can't cheat. How do you know him. he's faithful? I mean, I'm, I'm the cheating yes, yes. <laughs> He's faithful. I'm faithful. So I don't have any reason yeah. to cheat. So I move. Oh, if you seriously you love me and you're married, it's a no. Because I wouldn't want someone to do it to me. Mm. I won't. Oh no, I'm told that it's rather when you're about to get married that you stop cheating with people's husbands. Oh no. <laughs> no. Because so the, because you know Charlie close to the the, the, the deadline. 
<laughs> All right. But I think I think we've touched on a number of things that um, if they are married and the man cheats, uh, when you have uh, you know mediators, the counselors come in, they will listen. I mean, they will stay in the marriage. But if it's a boyfriend girl to a relationship, they will work out of that relationship as well. Also, it's important you put your dignity at first. That's what um, uh, Gifty is arguing. Uh, there are some who would tell you that look, they go through so much. It's just short term. You don't believe in short term. I mean, just no. passing through. <laughs> we all pass through school, so they shouldn't pass through. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right then. Thank you. Thank you both so much. Thank um, you. Welcome. Gifty Yamicha is an entrepreneur, fantastic, and also Malina Kokoti is a public relations officer. And it's been hard, though. We're talking about cheating and whether you walk out simply because your man cheated, simply because your man or woman cheated. Women, I tell you, they don't cheat. They only get caught. And they hardly get caught. We'll be right back.